Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we are going to be doing a collective haul. I have collected quite a few luxury goodies, with the exception of one, because I never know whether these are classified as luxury or not. I mean, £200 for a pair of trainers is expensive in my eyes, but, you know, there's richer people out there that think £200 is nothing. So I'm putting it in the video, but I'll save it for the last. Before we get into things, as always, if you could hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed, turn that bell notification on so you're not missing any videos. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. and we focus on fashion and luxury. Without further ado, let's dive into the first unboxing. Um, which one am I doing first? Good question. <laughs> let's start with the oldest, okay. We're gonna jump onto Louis Vuitton and in here I have da -da 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 a wonderful box which has been wrapped up. Right, now these <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's a booklet anyway that just fell out and I'm guessing it's the care instructions for these fabulous sunglasses. Oh, I thought they were going to be on display. Sorry, they're not. That was a fail of a re reveal. I'm going to put them in the box so that I can reveal them the cool way, the way that I intended to, but forgot that they have cases. Okay, so in this box, now for reals, <laughs> we have these Fabulous sunglasses. So these are called the Moon Cat Eye Sunglasses and they're your cat eyes. That's why I love them so, so much. And I was actually inspired by my vlog because I saw me trying them on in my vlog and I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I really like them. But when I actually tried them on in the vlog, I didn't think anything of them. I just put them on and I was like, yeah, they're, they're okay. I didn't, you know, um, it's, yeah, only when I think. And I had bought these ones previously anyway from Amazon. And guess what? They're not as expensive as these. These I think were 400 and, oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. 400 130 I will double check the price for you guys but I know they were definitely 400 and something these ones which I call the dupes of the Louis Vuitton ones um, they're only 15 pounds I think on Amazon so yeah I mean I wear these all the time they're like my glasses in my car that are just you know there when I need a pair of sunglasses on the I don't have these um, to hand then I just put these ones on but these are more like when I want to dress fancy and you know we're trying to make a statement then we're gonna go for the Louis Vuittons. So I'll leave the link towards these ones down below. I'll also leave the link for these. These come in two different colors actually. They come in a black, which is obviously the version that I have, but they also have a white. And I just think the actual frames are just stunning. I love, love, love the frame of these glasses. Like, aren't they fabulous? Strike a pose. <laughs> Vogue. The gold on the outside is stunning. I'm gonna get you close-ups of the actual glasses in a minute anyway. You've got the LV logo and then you've got the, 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 what do you call them? Like the Louis Vuitton emblems that they have. And you have it on both sides of the glasses and I really, really like that little detail. I also really like the little details, like so. I mean, come on. <gasps> And then the other side is totally different. I mean, look at that, I love that. So for me, it's those little details. It's quite tricky for me in sunglasses. Like when I see a pair that I like, then I have to get it because my nose, I have this complex, okay? <laughs> you know how we all have that one thing on our face that drives us a little bit mad? It's my nose for me and not all sunglasses suit my nose because I have a wider nose. It's hard to find frames that actually look good and don't sit like, way too high up, you know, like right up here because down here is not wide enough. Like this part here, the bridge of the, not the bridge, the, yeah, the bridge of the glasses isn't wide enough to fit my wide nose, but these fit perfectly. They're definitely a little bit more statementy than what I'm used to with the gold on the side, but I don't think it's like too, too much. It's not over the top. It's just the right amount. And what I also like is the fact that one side of the glasses over here isn't branded at all. And then on the other side, it is. So you've only got one side. So yes, these are them. Fabulous glasses. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like them? Do you like them? I like them. <laughs> Jumping onto the next item that I have over here, we have some Saint Laurent. And inside this black box is a boat hub. So oh, this isn't stretchy. Tied up. There we go. Okay, so 
Da -da -da -da. This lovely cap, which I've waited forever to get. You guys have no idea. This was released a good while ago. I had placed my order, was waiting for this cap, and a few days after placing my order, which told me that I was successful, by the way, like I got an email confirming that my order was successful. A few days later, I get another email saying, sorry, that the order's been canceled and it's on pre-order. <laughs> I was livid. I was like, seriously? And obviously it was colder back then, which is why I actually wanted the cap. I wanted to wear it during the winter months. I finally got it like literally a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. <laughs> and honestly, it's just for winter. You've got the YSL logo right over there. And then on the inside, it just looks like so. Let me put it on and show you guys how it looks. I mean, it would be tighter, so it wouldn't look as thingy here. And you would go like so. And perfect, right? For the winter, nice black coat. Not black, sorry. Why black coat? This goes with anything, it is dark. I did want to get the beige one, I'm not gonna lie. Like I really, really, it's 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 not beige per se. It's like a off gray kind of color. And I really, really wanted to get that color. However, I've had very bad experiences <laughs> with that particular color, especially in winter. Um, I had a cap exactly in the same color. It's from the New Era website, but it's not the YSL version. And that cap was destroyed because it got blown away in the wind. So I thought, I'm not gonna spend 200 pounds on a cap <laughs> and risk it getting blown off my head, getting dirty and not being able to use it anymore because, you know, it's it's basically ruined. So I just went with the safe option of black because I'm not taking any chances, okay? <laughs> 200 pounds for a cap is a lot and I'm not willing to, to risk getting one that's that could get dirty over time or no, in fact it will get dirty over time and I will probably be put off wearing it because I'm one of those people that once something has a stain on it, I'm like, no. It's unwearable. So yeah, black will do me just fine, I think. Next up, we have a wish list item. It is my lovely Fendi costume, guys. I I done my video and I was like, what am I waiting for? I literally put up the video and I ordered it. So I had actually really, really wanted one of these, but the one that I originally wanted, by the time I ordered it, it turned out to be sold out, so I didn't get my actual size. I ended up getting the smaller size, which on my top half was a little bit problematic. But I did get this one, which is the plain and simple black and brown version. I was in the process of actually removing the label the other day and was like, no, wait, let's do the, the filming first. <laughs> um, I did get it in a size 42. Now, the great thing about this costume is the fact that you can actually wear it two ways. So yes, you have the Zuka print on the outside, but you can also wear it the black way round. And this way has the little Fendi branding just really really small on the corner of your thigh so I really really like that because if I don't want to be like too showy and I just want a more you know reserved kind of day then I can just turn this inside out and wear it this way which essentially it is getting two costumes in one although I would have preferred if it was a different color other than black, but hey ho, you know, I was too slow for the other ones. I really, really like this and it's very, very flattering for my body type because the actual rise of the, the leg cut out, I don't know what you call this section, it's quite high, it's not a low rise. So if you did want something that was low rise in terms of your hip, like this part here, I wouldn't recommend getting the Fendi swimsuit because it is, unless it's just me and my big butt, <laughs> <laughs> but this does sit quite high. But yeah, when it comes to the price of it, I think it does, in a way, make it worth it in my head because I'm like, I'm getting a bodysuit and I'm getting a swimming costume. We, 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 we. We can live with that. <laughs> 360 pounds for a swimming costume. So originally it had come in like a zip locked bag and then at the back of that you have this little pouch and you guys can see it's got Fendi there and then on the inside it's like coated which is perfect when you go swimming or whatever. If you did want to take off your swimming costume and it was wet then you can put it in here and it's not going to wet all your other clothes which I really 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 like that thought. But yes, I am looking very, very much forward to wearing this. It's been a long while since I've been thinking about you and I finally have you. And it was about time. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, I bought myself another pair of Yeezys because 
I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I have bought designer shoes, trainers, let's say, not shoes, designer trainers, that have cost a lot more than your normal average shoe. But for some reason, this normal average shoe is the one I keep going back to, the Easy 350s. When it comes to comfort, there is no <laughs> trainer more comfortable. I honestly love these shoes so, so much. And the reason why I say, oh, you know, some people might not consider them luxury because, you know, they Adidas and people don't consider that as luxury. But, I mean, 200 pounds isn't cheap. So, I'm putting it in this video, okay? <laughs> I bought these ones and these are the Yeezy 350 in the color Bone, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I love them, love them, love them, love them. And honestly, I will always say, if it's one shoe that I could ever recommend, it will always be the Yeezys because they are such a comfortable, like really comfortable shoe. And they're perfect when you're traveling, when you're just popping into the shops, when you're just relaxed and you wanna be dressed down and not too like, I don't know, these are just the shoes for me. <laughs> I really 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 like them and to be completely honest I get more reaction when I'm wearing these than when I'm wearing any of my other designer trainers because these are really really difficult to get your hands on and I mean you could go pre not pre-loved but like you could go on the reseller market and you can try and get your hands on them but you'll be paying a premium for them which is why I feel like they should be classified as luxury because you're lucky to be selected to get a pair of these from the actual Adidas website. You have to go and buy them for a premium if you want them there and then and to be able to get your size. Um, it's not guaranteed to get a pair. So with the Yeezys, depending on what material they are, I order mine in my actual size. They do recommend going half a size up and for majority of people I would probably recommend the same thing. But for myself, the reason why I get my actual size 5 is because over time, they do stretch and I have two other pairs of Yeezy 350s which one of them is in the size 5 and then the other one is 5.5. I prefer the fit of my size 5 because this is knitted material so it does stretch and it's stretched to fit perfectly on my foot whether the 5.5 doesn't feel as secure as the 5 and it actually kind of sags on the side of that well not sags but when I walk it doesn't stay stuck onto my foot the way that a size 5 does so that's why I always get a size 5 if it is the prime prime knitwear knit prime knit that's what it's called not prime knitwear <laughs> um and this is the prime knit so that's why i stuck with my size five but yeah just a plain white pair of yeezy 350s and i'm in love <laughs> and on that note people we are done thank you so so much for watching i hope you have a beautiful rest of the weekend and a beautiful start to the week i shall catch you in wednesday's video take care bye